So this morning, I'm going to demonstrate how to make an apple crumble with a Johnny Peeler and an air fry oven. But it's not an oven really, it's an air fryer. Here we go. So you, get, you take the apple and you put it on the Johnny Peeler, like that. Turn the handle. And there's your apple. Take the dish, take a knife, take the apple. It's amazing, this Johnny Peeler. If you're buying one, get a good one because you need a heavy quality. And, and you, you take the apple and you just cut it around and around and around and around and around and then you've got all the, the apple for the crumble and then I'll do the other apples and come back to you and finish that. So then what I like to do is to put a topping of black cherries on the, on the top of the apple. Take the crumble, just supermarket crumble. I suppose you can make your own if you, if you want to. Place that on the top. Smooth it out. I mean, you might like a more crumble than that but that's the way I like it and then I put it in the air fryer <coughs> this is a handy trick for lowering a glass dish into the air fryer and then On and give it uh, I'll give it 10 minutes and I'll lower the temperature to 190 and then we'll have a look at it after 10 minutes and maybe give it the last last little bit on two, 200 centigrade to finish off okay so I finished it off with an extra four minutes on 200 so let's see how it is now this is a handy little trick so you don't burn your fingers. I think maybe I should have put some more juice in. Yeah, I should have. I should have put more juice from the can because it's it is very crumbly. Probably tastes okay. So there we go. That's that's my way of doing an easy apple cherry crumble in the air fryer. See you next time.